The murder of George Floyd in 2020, at the height of the COVID pandemic, which unleashed demands for racial justice worldwide, was a pivotal moment for ODI, when calls for racial justice and the decolonization of development thinking became particularly loud amongst young, minority black and brown staff. This period saw ODI begin to proactively use its platforms to profile voices, marginalized voices from the global south and diaspora, and to convene difficult conversations on racism in international development. Today, the loudest advocates for taking racism seriously are increasingly cited, courted, and called upon to facilitate conversations about shifting power to the global south and diversity, equity, and inclusion. These kinds of initiatives proliferate in organizations keen to review their recruitment and retention policies. But these policies, even if they create scope for discussions on race and racism, they rarely permeate in a sustained way research on some core development issues like trade, development finance, climate finance, or international action in situations of violent conflict. For ODI, decolonizing its approach to the production of knowledge means acknowledging the role of race, legacies of racism, and the current workings of racism today in shaping how we think about what constitutes knowledge, how it becomes constructed, by whom, and how it gets to be considered as robust or not. In recognition of this year's Black History Month and its focus on the critical contributions of Black women to Black history, and in line with ODI's long-standing research commitment to gender justice, ODI invited three leading women thinkers who have been collaborating with us over the last year to share their thoughts on the relevance of Black History Month to their struggles to decolonize the production of knowledge.